Christo and Jean-Claude were two of the most powerful collaborative artists of their time. Both Christo and Jean-Claude were born on the same date, June 13, 1935. Christo being born in Gabravo, Bulgaria, and Jean-Claude in Morocco. They first met in Paris in October 1958 when Christo was commissioned to paint a portrait of Jean-Claude's mother. Shortly after, they gave birth to their son, Cyril, on May 11, 1960. The birth of their first collaboration happened in 1961. The collaborative piece was called Stacked Oil Barrels and Dockside Packages, located in the Cologne Harbor. 1962, the couple tackled their first monumental project, Rodeo de Fer, which means Iron Curtain. Without consent of authorities and as a statement against the Berlin Wall, they blocked off Rio Visconti, a small street near the River of Siena. Jean-Claude stalled the approaching police, convincing them to allow the piece to stand for only a few hours. the Visconti project that made Christo and Jean-Claude known in Paris. Their early works were credited only to Christo until 1994 when the outdoor works and large indoor installations were retroactively credited to Christo and Jean-Claude. The two held such dedication to their work that they even flew in separate planes in case one crashed, the other one could continue their work. Their work is known to be extremely visually impressive and often controversial as a result of its scale, and the artists have repeatedly denied that their projects contain any deeper meaning than their immediate aesthetic impact. The purpose of their art, they contend, is simply to create works of art or joy and beauty and to create new ways of seeing familiar landscapes. Art critic David Burdon has described Christo's rapping as a revelation through concealment. To his critics, Christo replies, I am an artist and I have to have courage. Do you know that I don't have any artworks that exist? They all go away when they are finished. I think it takes much greater courage to create things to be gone than to create things that will remain. Some of their most widely recognized works include Wrapped Coast, Running Fence, Pawn Off, and Rich Tag. In 1972, Christo and Jean-Claude began preparations for a running fence, a fabric fence supported by steel posts and steel cables, running through landscape and leading into the sea. The fence was to be 5.5 meters high and 40 kilometers long, and constructed in Sonoma and Marine Counties, California. For the project, 59 families of ranchers needed to be convinced and permission of the authorities had to be obtained, so Christo and Jean-Claude hired nine lawyers. On the 29th of April, 1976, the work finally began after a long struggle against bureaucracy. On the 10th of September, 1976, the work was completed. However, Christo and Jean-Claude had to pay a $60,000 fine because they lacked permission for the coastal region. In 2009, Christo lost his partner and his wife of 51 years. Jean-Claude had passed at 74 years old. Like life in all of their projects, these are intended to be temporary, a quality at heart of the artistic enterprise. Whether executed in an oil drum or brightly colored fabric, the art created by these two artists, Jean-Claude said, expressed the quality of love and tenderness that we human beings have for what does not last.